Hi friends, today we are making a comic strip. So we just need pencil and a Sharpie marker and we are going to start by folding our paper to give us little boxes. So I, for this comic, I want the center to be bigger than the sides. So I'm going to take my paper and yours doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but I'm going to fold these a little bit smaller. So I want the, I'll show you here on this side. I want these to look like this on both sides. like that so you're just making a fold hopefully you can see that you could flip it over and then fold it on the other side too so that it kind of lays flat again okay so there's my fold and then i'm going to do it one more time so this time i'm going to make them pretty even like this and like this. So this time they're pretty even. See that? Kind of looks like the size of an envelope. So that's that fold. I'm just going to push it down. And I'll flip it over and then fold it the same way again. So I have some good lines to work with. Okay. And this side of my paper is cleaner, so I'm gonna use this side here. And now I have these little boxes to work with, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my pencil and just trace these boxes here. I'll make mine darker so you can see it better, but you don't have to. You could just lightly go over them. I'm gonna go over mine twice so that you could see it really good. And here's another box. We're sketching it first so that we can erase any mistakes we make before we make it more permanent with black marker, okay? All right, so this is the start of our picture. And let's go ahead and actually move our picture this direction, okay? So I'm gonna do it in this direction today. There, hopefully you could see that good. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is make a, um, over here, I'm gonna make a scene, like a city scene for my comic strip, because a lot of the superheroes, they um, are saving the city. So I'm gonna start right here, and I'm going to make a tall building, so it comes out like this, and it's gonna go down like that. And then my next one, just comes out a little bit here. And this one is gonna be a little bit more narrow and shorter. And every city has different size buildings, so if yours look different than mine, that is okay. Okay, and then this one's gonna come down lower like that. And then we're gonna go up again. Just making these rectangular shapes as we go across. Like that. And this one I am gonna put another little square at the top of the building. And then I'm gonna put a little line like that. I'm not finished yet. I wanna 
add some more buildings off to this side here. So a little space in between. Like that. And this building I'm going to make taller than this one. going to kind of make it even with that building over there. And then I'm going to step up one more time and let it kind of fall off the page. Okay. Now I'm also going to make little squares that I'm going to make sure later I leave them the color of the paper because I don't want to color them in later. So I'm going to just make little squares. Like that. So I did two and two, so four, and then three just going down like that. Then I'm going to skip a space and add a couple of more down here. Skip a space and add two over here. And then let's go ahead and make some on this building. This time I did four and then a line on the right side. Over here, I'm going to add two, one more, and then let's go ahead and make some little windows on our third building. And then I'm going to add some over here. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do a row of them up here. There. So another thing I'm going to do with this box here is in the sky. A lot of this sky is going to be black, but then after you come down a little bit from the top, we're just going to make some circles, okay? So we're going to make Make some circles going across. And another row. And then as I go down, I'm going to start to try your best. I'm going to start to make my circles a little bit smaller. and smaller like that 
until finally I'll do one more and then they're just going to kind of be dots. Do one more about this size. And they're kind of dots. Okay, so you'll see this, this square is finished for now, but it comes together later when we use marker, right? Then on this one, we're gonna do a different style um, over here. And so I'm going to um, make, I don't know if you've ever seen those little clouds with, they're like conversation clouds with letters or words in it. So this one, it's just a bunch of little arches like this. This is going to take up most of the space. Okay. And then I'm going to write the word bang. Okay. So I'll show you how to make block letters, but you can just write it in regular letters if you want to. But first over here, we're gonna start with a B, like this, and then you just put that inside. Then my A, I'm doing all uppercase. But like I said, if this is too hard for you to write your letters like this, then you could just spell the word bang, B-A-N-G, however you want. And I'm gonna do an exclamation point. going to kind of spill over into the other side here so that's where I'm just going to take my eraser and oh and I didn't tell you guys I'm using a superhero pencil I thought that was fitting for today's project okay so we erase that um, little pencil mark there because the bang is spilling over into that Okay, and then I'm just going to put a few other little cloud marks around it like this. Okay. And then over here we're going to make a rocket ship. So we're going to start and our rocket's going to be going up to the corner like this. So I'm going to make this shape here like that then there's a little line that connects at the bottom two more lines then we're going to make some smoke coming out I'm going to make some more kind of clouds like that. See it? They're like smaller versions of those clouds. Bang. The tip of this is going to be dark later. You can go ahead and shade it in now if you want so we know. And over here, I'm going to make a little arch. And this will be a different color later. So we can shade it. This is going to be a different color. And over here. Oh, 
Okay. So coming out, um, let's go to this corner here. Um, it's another like conversation bubble and it says pow. And instead of it being clouds like that, it's just a, a rounded shape like this, like an oval. And then it kind of spills in to this one. Okay, and then it says inside it, P-O-W for POW, and you can write it big. And just do your writing the best you can. POW. Okay, and um, on this one, I'm kind of gonna overlap into this, and I'm gonna make one of those little black we'll cover it later so I'm gonna make this dark so you could see make a black circle here make our little dynamite okay and a little square at the top and a little fuse Okay, this is going to be dark later, so just so we know, you can go ahead and color it in. Alright, I'm sure you're doing fabulous. Alright, now on this one I'm gonna make like a bullseye okay and that's really easy to do you start with a little circle in the middle we're gonna leave that circle white then I'm gonna make another circle around it and you can draw lightly that's why we're using pencil first and then it's easier to erase when you draw lightly so there's one and then we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around until we run out of space in this rectangle. Just gonna keep going around. And you'll see we're gonna do this as a pattern of every other color. So now I'm getting close to my edges, so you just kind of pretend it falls off the page. See? And I keep going. But now it's more like just the sides I'm doing because there's no more room at the top. And I will wait for you guys to catch up to me on that. All right, now down here, I'm gonna make another building area so these are going to look a little different um, this one start with a line in the middle like this and then i'm going to make like an upside down v see that now it actually looks like an arrow doesn't it looks like an arrow and then from the ends of those arrow marks i'm going to go back down and guess what that's now a building. At the top of this building, I'm going to make a triangle. Well, it kind of looks like a triangle, like that. That's the roof of the building. Okay, and this is going to be dark later. So you can color it in now if you want to, like that. That's one building. 
Okay, the windows for this building are a little different too. So now, do you see the way we made this arrow? It's kind of like we're doing that over and over again, like this. See that? And then after you do that, you're gonna put one line down the middle and one line down the middle on both sides. And those are our windows now. My next building is shorter. And same idea, I'm gonna make it short like that, but I am gonna make it poke down kind of like an arrow again. And then we have our second arrow and then a line through it for windows. My middle building is the taller one. So over here, this one's easier too. It goes a little taller than the last one like this. And down, down, down. And then a smaller rectangle at the top. Like that. Another little one and a line. Okay, and then we're just gonna put a few lines in here for windows across the top. And then over here, I'm gonna do a few long rectangles. that and then a few little smaller squares like that and this one I'm gonna let the clouds kind of spill over into there like that. All right, and on this one, we're going to do um, another cloud, but not as many, so I'll show you. Um, first, we'll write the word boom, B-O-O-M. And I'm gonna write the word going kind of towards a diagonal this way. You can do your handwriting however you want. I'm gonna do an exclamation point. And then around that, I'm just gonna make like that. Okay, and on this one, in the background, I am gonna put some dots again, like this. And then as I go up, they're gonna get smaller and smaller. Till they're just tiny little dots. There, 
I think we could fit one more in there too. So there's our boom. Let's make a fun clock, like an alarm clock that's going off. Once you're finished with that spot there, and let's put it right up here. So we're going to first make a circle. like that. And then only on one side, you make a little line like this and then you just make it curve around on one side. So it's kind of like the letter C next to it. We're going to make a dot in the middle. Then in very small writing, you're going to put a number 12 at the top, a number 3 on the side. Can you guess what goes at the bottom? Number 6 and a number 9. Okay, and then we'll just make some little hands on our clock. And then I want it to look like an alarm clock. So the old fashioned ones have these little bells coming out the top that make all kinds of noise. I'll make a little handle. And then I'll make a couple of little feet for my alarm clock. And then we want it to look like it's shaking back and forth and making all kinds of sounds. So we're gonna make a few little lines going up this way, this way, down and down. And then next to those lines, we're gonna make those little poof of smoke. Like that. And then down here, I'm going to put one more little conversation cloud and it's going to be right here. And then just a little thing that goes down like that. And I'm going to change my writing on this one and it's just going to be a smaller writing that says bang. Okay, so that is enough of the sketching before we start our marker. So for now, I want you to just take a look at it, make sure that you are happy with um, the way everything looks right now before we make it permanent. So this is the time to erase anything that needs to be erased and make your corrections because we're gonna make it permanent. Okay, so let's start with our bullseye. This one could be tricky, so you definitely don't want to go ahead. You want to follow along with me. So remember, I said that the center is going to stay white. So I'm tracing around the center and the rest stays white over there. So now after I make my next line, which I will show you, I'm going to color in this one. 
the black is what really is going to pull this comic project together. So we are just going to, it's worth the effort and patience because it's going to look really good when we're done. So there's our first one. The next one we're going to skip again and leave it white. So we just have to make our line like that, leave it white, make our next outline so that we can fill it in. Okay, so I'll show you. You want to fill in all the white spaces around that next ring so we can make our bullseye. I'm not pushing hard. I don't want my marker to flatten out. I'm just using a, a light pressure to color it in. And then we keep on going. So the next one stays white again because we are making a pattern. Is that looking cool? So there's one. I'll do the other side. I'm just cleaning this up a little bit where the fold was. Okay, and then the next one. Stays white. And then we'll finish it off on this side. Now this one I do have a cloud of smoke here, so I'm going to trace around it. And leave that part white. So hang on, I'll move my hand in just a second so you could see that. See? I let the cloud of smoke overlap on that a little bit. Alright, so that is our little bullseye. And then we can move on to our clock. So first we're going to trace the circle we started with. The hands, our little lines. that. All right. And on my clock, I'm just going to put a little line like this. Okay. 
make it a little thicker. If you can write really teeny tiny, you can actually trace the numbers. Doing those little bells. Okay, and then I'm gonna make some um, shapes in the background of this one. So we're gonna start with some black dots. Across the top. I'm going to stop at this line and then I'm going to do another row. Another row wherever I could fit them, where there's not a drawing in the way. Kind of have to squeeze them in there. Okay, and the rest of my dots are gonna be smaller ones, teeny tiny dots. All right, so that section is done. We are getting there, guys. You're doing great. All right, so bang. Just gonna outline the word. Get your exclamation point. We're going to go over all of our little lines that make the cloud. And on this one, I want it thicker, so I'm going to go back over the whole outside again. So we want this one to really stand out like there's a dark shadow behind it. And if your hand starts to hurt, put your marker down, shake it out for a minute. That is okay. Roll the wrist. <laughs> and then you pick right back up where you were. All right. So I am behind this one here. I'm going to make some lines that look like it's a, a starburst like this. And it's in a pattern again, where it's black, white, black, white. And on this side, I change direction and I go towards this corner. See that? And then down here, it goes towards the bottom corner. After we do this, you can try on your own to make your own comic. That would be cool. So there's our bang. Okay. 
I didn't go all the way to the corner because there's smoke in the way. Like that. Let's do this building over here. All right, so start with the roof that we said kind of looked like an arrow. Like that. And then I'm gonna go over the outside lines two times to make it look thicker. And then the other lines, I just go over it one time. they're thinner. And then we get this one. I don't know why I like the shape of this building over here. With the three layer roof. Okay, so after you outline all the windows on this building, we're gonna leave the windows white and color the rest in black. So then we know where to stop. Color the rest of this in black. Make sure you get all the white spaces in that building. And on this building, it's very dark up here. So let's make a line across. And right about here, I'm gonna make circles across. And you can fill them in. Okay, and then above that, I'm going to make other circles that I'm not going to fill in. Tricky, right? Okay, so these circles that I just made, they're going to stay white and everything else above it is going to be black. So just take your time to make sure that you don't accidentally color those circles in. You gotta go slow when you get near them. leaving the tiniest bit of a white line near the roof so we can see it. Almost there. OK. 
Okay. And then underneath that, I'm just going to make some dots going down. Okay, time to outline the next one. You guys are doing so good. I can't wait to see what they look like. Fill this guy in. Color that in. Just on the sides here. This one, I'm not going to color all the way in. I'm just going to do it like that. So you could see my my color marks. Got a few more clouds for the rocket. And then let's go ahead and do the word bang. And this one, it's not block letters, it's just writing. Bang. And then pow. With a nice clean line around on this one. thicker at the top like a shadow okay let's do our little ammo here color this guy in okay and then we have this building going around the windows because I want them to stay white. We're almost done. So proud of you guys. Made a comic. I like to turn my marker every once in a while so I'm not just using the same side. So sometimes I just roll it around to the next side. squares and don't rush that because you don't want um, all the white spaces to show through you want to fill it all in
We are doing a lot of coloring today. Black and white comic. area here. Okay, and then these are just dots. The bottom ones are filled in. But the other ones are open. We're not filling them in, we're just making open circles. Kind of the opposite of what we did before. Like that. And then as they go up, they get bigger and bigger. Like that. And then our last section is boom. And this one I am filling in the letter. And on this one, all my dots are black. And you notice they are in a row, right? Dot, 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 dot. Don't push too hard. We don't want to make our marker go in and flat, but you just lightly tap it to get those dots. And then at the bottom, the dots are bigger. That. So there is our comic. This one here, I'm just going to give it a rectangle. Like that. Let's do that with this one too. And this one, I'm not gonna do that because the smoke is in the way. But I made the rectangle on some of them. This one, we can do it. This one. And that's it. So you did it, you did it. You worked so hard and you made yourself a city scene comic strip. I can't wait to see yours. Give yourself a pat on the back, shake out that hand, because I know you worked so hard today, and 
I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.